will go up to the 74 kilo class. That is Murad Gazi Muradov representing Russia, and he'll take on Donnie Pritzloff for Team USA. Team USA ranking for Pritzloff, number one at 74 kilos. Don't have a whole lot of information on the Russian in this particular match, but for Donnie, another world-class wrestler here, 2006 World Bronze Medalist, 2006 USA World Team Trials Champion, and 2006 U.S. Nationals Champion, this guy has a lot of credits. Yeah, Donnie's really turned the corner over the last few years in terms of his freestyle experience. You know, again, as we mentioned earlier in the program, most of our guys are all wrestling in high school and college. They're wrestling folk style, and it does take a few years to, to catch up with that level of experience in, in freestyle and Greco-Roman international styles. But he's really turned the corner nicely in the last couple of years, and now he's number one in the U.S. on the ladder and a world's bronze medalist. I mean, meddling at the world championships is a big deal. But Donnie wrestled at University of Wisconsin. He was actually a two-time NCAA champion for University of Wisconsin back in the early 2000s. And then he stayed there for quite a while as assistant coach, but he's now assistant coaching at Hawkesbury. Sean Gourmet is the coach now for Donnie Pritzloff, another guy with big accomplishments underneath his belt. Has coached four Big Ten champions, 12 NCAA All-Americans, two NCAA National Champions, and actually has a pretty good career himself as a two-time Big Ten champion and a Midlands champion in 1993. Yeah, Sean has a, he's done a great job moving from the uh, wrestling ranks at University of Michigan, coming back to the Chicago area, which is where he went to high school, and now he's uh, coaching not only some of these international guys, but he's also coaching uh, junior high and high school age kids uh, at his overtime wrestling camp, so he's done a nice job out there. But hey, we're, wi we're winding down here in the first period, and uh, we've got to get some points scored here, guys. We're going to, if we don't score pretty soon, we're going to see uh, another one of those uh, leg clinches that we see in freestyle, where there's no winner after the first period. You go into a, an unusual situation where you flip a coin, the winner gets his choice, and he almost always chooses to take the leg, and... You basically have 30 seconds to make something happen. We'd like to thank WYCC TV 20 for broadcasting this event, bringing this international wrestling competition into the homes of the Chicago viewers. Wise TV, WYCC, believes in using a local platform to showcase programs of a global nature that will help bridge racial, ethnic, class, and gender divisions. Well, we flipped the coin. It is, unfortunately for the U.S., it is blue, which means the Russian wrestler gets his choice. He is going to take the leg clinch, and Donnie's trying to get himself positioned as well as he can within the rules, and the ref's going to tell him just, you know, he's got to let the guy in on him. But once that Russian grabs the leg, the whistle blows, and out, there's the takedown. Boy, sometimes it's just that quick. Okay, that gives him one point, and that gives him the first period. By the way, here we'll take another look at it right here. It just has to be a terrible feeling for the, for the wrestler that's given up the leg. Yeah, I mean, you're so schooled to keep people off your legs that that's really a hard position to be in. And one of the things that, that kind of upsets fans is if they go into another leg finish later in the match, and it's not unheard of, that does happen, one of the things they'll do is they'll flip another coin again. And I've talked to friends and, and supporters of the sport, and they feel like, hey, if there's a second clinch in the same match, whoever had the choice first time, the other guy ought to have the choice second Absolutely. time. Absolutely. I, I, I mean, have just, to agree with it. And just in terms of fairness. Now, you, you know, it's not that many matches where you have two leg clinches in the same match, but if it does come to that, I've had you know people express that they would rather they not flip a coin again. But here's where we're at. We'll worry about that later. Fritz Loff, representing Team USA and the Red Singlet. Lined up alongside Murat, of course, representing Russia. Well, this Russian's doing a good job. He's, he's young himself. He's 22, and he's, he's learning the international game, coming along on, partly on a developmental trip here. But... Fritzloff is under the gun right now. He's behind one period to nothing. He's got to, he's got to step it up. He's, he's 
he's doing a good job of battling for position and banging the head, but he's, he's got to get some quality shots off because this isn't going to get it done for him. Trying to find some sort of position here so somebody can gain advantage. We have not seen it yet. By the way, make sure you join us for the broadcast of the BBC World News at 6 a.m. and 6 p.m. and again at 10 p.m. and twice a day on weekends as well right here on WYCC. Well, the Russians doing plenty of backing up. I mean, Fritzloff is really pushing the action, but the Russians doing a good job of, of blocking and backing up, and uh, you know the refs aren't the refs aren't penalizing them for it. So I guess if you can get away with it, it still it works. Boy, really, nobody with any sort of advantage here at all to this particular point in the match. I mean, aside from a, a, a leg clinch, I mean, absolutely nothing. Well, here we are again. I t neither one of these guys are doing, neither one of these wrestlers are able to get past the blocking uh, and defense of the other. And here we've had a second toss, and the Russian wrestler has won again. So it this does. This is exactly what you were talking yeah, about. I mean, yeah. it does, this is definitely an unfair advantage. It, it, uh, it's, a, it's a bummer, is all you can say. Uh, unless, you're the, uh, unless you're on the Russian team, then you think it's great. But just in fairness, it does seem that. If one wrestler has won the clinch toss, if there's a second one, it should go to the other guy. But that's not the way the rules are right now. I tell you what will happen is, at some point, somebody who's a defending world champion will lose this way, and then they'll change. They'll decide, ah, maybe, maybe we shouldn't have the rule this way. But that's what it is. There's the clinch, and here's the only point scored in the second period, just like the first match goes to Russia. And a tough break for Donnie Fritzloff, who really did absolutely nothing wrong inside of this match.